Hey guys, SFP here, and welcome to episode number 9, number 9, of my FIFA 16 Barcelona career mode. And if you guys remember the last video, we actually managed to get a convincing win against Atletico Madrid, a 3-0 victory away from home at the Vicente Calderón. And now we're hoping to keep that momentum going here with a arguably weaker side here in Levante, uh, UD here. And we have the home field advantage, so... We're obviously looking for the win, guys, and hopefully, like I said, we can keep that momentum going uh, at the moment. Here we have the wonderful voices of Fernando Palomo and Mario Kempes, El Matador, uh, as he's known in certain parts of the country here. Or not here, but around the world. And according to them, the player to watch is Lionel Messi, which, to be honest, is, is a no-brainer. Uh, but as you, you guys are going to see here, um, there's actually a couple of players here that... Uh, had a better game than Lionel Messi, but uh, more on that later. And here we're going to start off with the best starting 11 that we could possibly have at the moment. And this is the lineup that I will probably be using for most of this season. I know typically with my other career modes, I like to change it up and uh, give my substitutes a good run here and there. But considering I have the pressure of winning everything, every tournament here... Uh, I'm actually going to stick with the more experienced side. And here we have Gilas. I remember Gilas from the World Cup uh, in Brazil. I believe he was playing for Algeria, but let me uh, let me know in the comment section down below if I'm wrong. But I remember him clearly in the uh, World Cup playing for Algeria. And here we have what would be the first opportunity here with Suarez. Suarez is going to try to find Messi here. Messi is going to go for the shot. The shot is easily saved there by the Levante goalkeeper. Here, Levante is going to have a known opportunity here. As they're going to go for the flank. They're going to go for the passer for Gilas, but uh, Claudio Bravo actually reads the play very well and punches it out before any danger can come his way. And here we actually see the ball. Messi's going to go for the shot. And a shot that was, one, very weak, and two, poorly placed there by someone of Lionel Messi's uh, skill level. And here we have Gilas. Uh, passes it well to Casares, Cas Cas I believe is his name, or... But anyways, guys, what a great opportunity there. And again, Claudio Barro comes up big. And like I said in my previous video, or previous one of my previous videos, I actually prefer Bravo over Ter Stegen. But that's just my opinion, guys. Uh, if you guys have a, an either or, let me know in the comment section down below. Who do you guys prefer, Ter Stegen or Claudio Bravo? Anyways, here we have Suarez. Passes it to Messi. Messi's going to go for the cross there. But again... The goalkeeper from Levante reads the play very well there and anticipates the cross and uh, basically takes care of it before anything ensues. And that's how the first half will end, guys. The 0-0 draw so far. And I know it's a little bit uh, boring seeing these 0-0 draws. Uh, but on the positive side, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. I have yet to be scored on. I have yet to concede a goal. And so that, for some reason, that's kind of my priority at the moment. Because I'm trying to see just how long I can go through this season without getting, or without having Claudio Bravo or Ter Stegen, or Massif for that matter, uh, pick the ball in the back of their own net. And here we have Sergio Roberto with a shot and a great shot there. Nicely placed, but again, the goalkeeper from Levante turns up big. And here we have Rakitic with a cross. And like I said, uh, these crosses have been OP, guys. And here we had an opportunity to get that 1-0 lead that we so desperately want and it was taken away from us good play there by the defense and now Rakitic is going to put it back again hopefully we can get something similar but no they actually uh, take care of it nicely but here we have another opportunity and again that back line for Levante is very solid in this particular game I'm very impressed and we have Neymar slipping by he's going to go for the pass tries to find Sergio Roberto Roberto just kicks it out kind of like Sergio Ramos PK guys but anywho uh, it was a great idea it's just the execution was horrible and here we have Levante with another opportunity one of the few opportunities I think we've been the better team so far tries to pass it to the forward and Claudio Bravo reads the play very well there although I was a little bit surprised and a little bit worried because of how far he was off his line Suarez with the shot and Ruben the goalkeeper from Levante takes care of it no problem and here we have uh, one of the few opportunities left here Suarez again 
and he gets hit, and I thought it was a PK, guys. I thought I was getting ready. I was getting my look at my chops here, waiting for that PK, and it's actually a free kick. Well, here we're gonna take it with Messi, and I'm still not pretty good with free kicks, guys. And as you can see there, obviously it's a 50-50 on whether or not I get off with a very good free kick or not. And here we have Rakitic. Rakitic is gonna try to find Suarez. Suarez goes by. He goes for the shot. And again, Ruben comes up big. That's like the seventh or eighth save that he com has come up with. And I swear, in FIFA 15, that would have been a goal. But for some reason, in FIFA 16, the dynamics or something about it has made it a little bit more difficult playing 1v1, which is what actually Master Bucks has mentioned in his uh, recent video here at the moment. Anyways, here we have Alves. Passes it to Piquet. Piquet passes it back to Neymar. But as we can see here, uh, it wasn't a foul, actually. I thought it was a foul for a second. But it turns out that we're being called off sides or off for the offsides. That's a tongue twister. And as you can see here, just on the line itself, we were just off, guys. And Ruben's going to put it back in play as time runs out for us to get the victory here in the Camp Nou. And here we have Trujillo passes it to Navarro. Navarro was kind of cooking up something, but unfortunately for us, the whistle has been blown, and that's how the game will end, guys. 0-0 zero, zero, uh, draw so far. Anyways, guys, that's how the game ended, 0-0. Zero, zero. And we see here that Abar is actually doing pretty well in this season. And actually, they've been doing pretty well in the uh, actual league itself. And here we're going to have some uh, training simula simulation. And Grimaldo actually grows up one overall, which is amazing, guys. And as uh, this ends, I will leave you guys off with this. Please follow me on Twitter at SFP Soccer Show. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel or like to stay updated with this content, please hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on Twitch at SFP Gaming. I'm still kind of trying to grow a fan base here, and hopefully at some point I'll be able to stream and have a very proactive audience. That's at least my goal, guys. And as we see here, nothing good apparently is coming out of the U.S., which is to be expected, but I'm hoping to get a gem there. Anyways, stay tuned for the next episode coming up momentarily. Peace out.